and we're back. What's up, guys? Yeah. We've got more calls. We've got my dear sweetie. I love him so much. I spoke with him extensively yesterday, and I had a great time, even though I feel like maybe he was a little low-key last night. How are you feeling, Cody? Low-key? What do you mean? How are you feeling? I'm asking you how you're feeling. I just, I like to hear from you. I feel like, um, you know, yeah, I miss you, is what I'm trying to say. Thank you. I'm glad, glad you missed me. I watched some Kill a Kill today. Oh, you watched more Kill a Kill? How far are you now? I watched some more Kill a Kill today. And you know what I watched? I watched the three-star Goku uniform-wielding band leader oh. Oh. in her uh, uh, something regalia? What is it? Symphonic regalia? I don't remember. Listen, she was defeated by uh, the first That's time real. I had seen Ryoko go like fucking beast mode i it was like eva 2 beast mode and her oh, commute is it a kamui yeah her, her she went her kamui and then she went like she did uh she i think it's called shipuin where she goes into like flying mode yeah well that after the shipuin her kamui ate her and chewed her up and then her head popped out of its arm and it was like a mutant version of ryoko oh, and she so had no control far. you're th you're that far in and mako had oh yeah because then this this cute eye patch girl showed up and uh, she revealed a lot about the plot, and they fought, and uh, there was a lot of, um, like, when wind from an explosion flies past, like, boobs sh kind of shudder, and it's like a shuddering effect, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like a... Like a shudder, like you know what I mean? I like when boobs do that. Yeah, <laughs> I could bet. But, um, it was, uh, it was good. And then I watched, what am I on episode? Like, I guess 13 is the next one I'm going to watch. Yeah. I, I, it's I, a good show. I, re I really like where it's going now. I, I, I think, I think it's going to be really good. New, new yeah. episode came out today or tomorrow? Tomorrow's the newest episode. Cool. Tomorrow. It's going to be dope. Because I was looking at my Crunchyroll and I'm like, why am I paying for this again? I never use it. We gotta use it for anime like Kill a Kill. And? And then you, well, you watched like one episode of the retard girl with headphones anime. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. <laughs> oh, um, competition style archery suit, engineering jumpsuit and belt pack, mountaineer outfit, jungle warfare gorilla, that looks cool. I just wanted to be dressed a little more appropriately, like a down jacket or something because. No, she, she only, she only wear a tank top. No, down jacket, oh. Cody. It's fucking oh. snowing outside. Only only wear tank top. This is Cody. Tomb Raider. Cody, it's <laughs> snowing outside, man. No, you're sitting by a fire. I'm gonna I'm buying an extended magazine for this pistol. Look at that. Boom, sticking out the bottom. Is that a beretta? Oh. What is that? Oh look at me, dude. See? Down vest. This is way more appropriate, Cody. You're wearing a jacket? Yeah, a vest and long sleeves. And uh, uh, this is how you camp. Prepared for the wilderness. Hey, Cody, my handsome man. Uh-huh. How you been living, man? You have been feeling good? You enjoying the weather in Georgia? It's been uh, cold. Well, it's, it was snowed last week, and as such, I caught the flu. So oh, I got Cody, the flu. it was snowed last week, and you caught the flu? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was snowed last week. And, and you I caught, caught the flu. The flu. <laughs> yeah. That's a shame. Uh, but uh, now the snow melted and the flu is still here, and I'm playing Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. It you're liking, good. so you're liking this game too. It's fun. It looks uh, so good, doesn't it, for a PlayStation for for a console game? I've never seen a console game look this nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, I, I I'm just kind of like. I'm kind of dropped a little bit out because I, I the, I'm trying to push myself to finish it because I hope it's really good, but I just the character develop is not really like holding me. You know what? I just get caught up. I mean, as you can probably see from how I fucking play, I just love fucking exploring this oh, yeah, environment. I, oh, the the environments and the gameplay are great. It's just yeah. uh, don't get me wrong. I, I, I it might pick up, but I'm still playing it. I'm not dropping it yet. Still playing it, not dropping it. Yeah. 
But uh, Garrett, I want I want to talk to you about two topics because there's two controversial things that just happened based upon two of our favorite franchises. Two controversial things based on favorite franchises. Can I guess that one is Evangelion and the other is Metal Gear Solid? No, not Ava. Oh, wrong one. Oh, They're both video games. Oh, both video games. You got, okay. You got the Resident Evil controversy, Ghost Composer shit. Yes, which I feel like is weird. That's a weird... Fuck, that guy goddamn sent a flare! Fuck him. Now I'm gonna have to deal with all this shit enemy bullshit. So, the Resident Evil ghost composer thing. Ghost composer, yeah. I don't... That's... I don't see why that's such a fucking big deal. Maybe to his family and his, his oh. co-workers. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I just think it's more of like a surprising thing. Like, oh, that happened, but... I mean, if like it's Resident Evil One soundtrack where yeah. it has stuff that's just literal fart noises. So. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. I'm everyone is that. using a really wonky version of a song from I think the guest house that was like. I mean, it was really bad. Yeah. I mean, I guess I get. We could probably replicate it. Oh, these guys fucking! They use my toys and they don't. They leave it on and the batteries are drained. I had a keyboard here that they, makes that noise. They play with all your toys? They play gone. with these toys. I have a toy here that you gave me, this toy here. The Gundam? That's a goddamn toy. Dude, I gave that to you a year ago. It's I got this geez. toy here, a little fan maiden. Fuck! Fan maiden. It's pissing me off. Um, I'm actually glad it's not like the Resident Evil 2 soundtrack. <laughs> Because, like, if it, if it was the composer for Resident Evil 2, I would have been like, oh, man. Because, like, well, I praise that soundtrack so much. Oh, it's great. That would, that would, like, make me feel so bad because then I'd praise this guy that, like... You know, like, I didn't know the guy's name, though, and I, I still like the Resident Evil 1 music, so oh, nothing yeah. changes for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 think, I think the Resident Evil 1 music isn't bad, I don't know, but I, I, I just... Oh. Two, two has so much moments of, like, some of the best atmospheric music, and I think, like, the one that sums it up to me the most is the RPD main hall theme, where you walk in, and it's just... Oh, yeah. Th the second you walk in, it just kind of... You just kind of get sucked into this world. Uh, uh. Okay, how did my singing set the fucking pause the game? How do we turn that off? Uh, do you have a mic plugged in? Uh, like, or is it just the controller? Oh, console? you know what? What? Yeah, there's a headset mic here. <laughs> it's on this headset I'm not using, though. Um. I'm gonna okay. mute it. Hold on, over here. Its controls okay. are here. No, they're over here. Mic, mic. Mic off. Mute. Mic mute. Mic Play. Turn. Start. I thought it was in, like using the controller, but this is just a speaker, not a fucking microphone. I should have known better, Code. Should have known better. Anyone ever call you Code? Uh, people call me a lot of things. People called me Agent Cody Banks when that movie came out. Oh, for that a must while. have been annoying as fuck. Yeah, it was. What a bunch of assholes. Did you <laughs> shit on them behind their back and just be like, yeah, another fucking Agent Cody Banks joke? Yeah, Dummies. pretty much. Yeah, that's good. Don't take any guff. Hey, uh, how's my gain? Is it a little too gainy? Am I is my voc, uh, mix too high? What are you even saying? I've got a gain on the microphone, and I oh. don't want to know if it's picking me up if I'm too hot. I don't want to be too hot tonight. You sounded fine to me. Okay, got it, got it. I'm gonna um, drop right down in the center of this. Boom! Look at that. Um, now, the number two on the controversial controversies... Controversy! Contra controversy list is the whole little blow-up from the guy in Game Informer about Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes. Okay, being... I don't know about this. Can you clue me and my lovely audience? So, in the us newest in? Game Informer issue, uh, some guy got to sit down for four hours of playing Ground Zeroes, and in his little thing, he said, like, he beat the main story, like, in two hours and played two hours of extra stuff. And everyone's been going crazy about, 
Uh, Ground Zeroes is two hours long. What a ripoff. Kojima, you lied to us. You're feeding us this bullshit. You're the Japanese version of Electronic Arts. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, two hours seems a little quick. But I, I, here's I, the I, thing. But um, I Just right out the gate, this guy's a professional video game journalist. Or supposedly professional video game journalist. Anyway, I would imagine this guy plays a lot of games, and he's pretty fucking good at games. It's certainly not going to take... I am not going to be able to get through that in two hours. Oh, yeah. I, I And it's... Like, I, I'm really, like, kind of thinking this, like, okay, this guy got sat in a room to play Metal Gear Solid 4 for four hours. Of course he's going to blow through it. Yeah. Like, so, uh, I, I don't blow through games, so I'm not that worried, and... It's a discounted title. It's it's forty dollars. It's not sixty. Yeah. And well, some people saying that's like a big ripoff. Oh, forty dollars. Oh, for come this on. Game. This fucking $5. Tomb Raider is the same game I just fucking had got, and it was full retail. It's not. It, I mean, usually special editions or remasters are discounted, but this wasn't. Um. Um. But, but like, yeah, oh. the uh, the the price is discounted, and we know it's a prologue to. Five and, and, to the rest of five. Yeah, it's like you're like it's already been and people are saying like oh it only takes place in Camp Omega, Camp Omega that they've been showing since like the debut of Ground yeah. Zeroes that beginning part where you save Chico and pause and stuff, like that's all Kojima's been showing for a reason because he doesn't want to spoil it for you. I, I I've been trying to tell people this like because people just saying like oh man you just mess around in that camp and that's it that's the whole game. No, they showed the whole fucking desert, man. I, well, yeah, the desert stuff's, like, after Snake comes after out of the coma, but, like, in Phantom Pain. But, like, if you go look at any Metal Gear Solid Five one trailers, including Phantom Pain stuff, look at specific scenes, including Snake in his sneaking suit. Specifically his sneaking suit. Before he goes into a coma. Because Ground Zero goes from Camp Omega all the way through and up to the MSF base being destroyed and him going into a coma and ending up in that hospital from the beginning part of, like, the GDC Phantom Pain trailer. Oh, oh really? You know that? Well, no, that's what Kojima said. That's He said Ground Zero will go all the way up until Snake goes into the coma, and then Phantom Pain begins once he comes out of the coma. Hmm, gotcha. I have to plug in a USB cable to charge this fucking controller your controller is dead i don't think it was charging as i said at the top of the show when i plugged it into derek's computer over there i don't think it was actually charging are we back on we're back on sign it in here. um that's yeah see that sounds i mean i don't know I, people are gonna fucking bitch and i, I i'm so sick yeah. of the goddamn internet and everyone just fucking bitching I, and I, I, I don't know. I, I love Metal Gear, and if people are Metal Gear fans, I think they would want to get this game. Yeah, and it's, you it, know, it, I mean, if it was like any other franchise, where like say it's like, hey man, I paid I paid full fucking retail for Zone of the Enders because yeah. I wanted to play the fucking demo for Metal Gear Two. So yeah. Yeah. I I mean I'm the wrong person to discuss this with. Oh, I really fucked this oh, up. Yeah, I, I I'm in the same boat because it's just like yeah, cook, cook, like. The, the the like you're also gonna get like all these side ops, uh, MSF based development supposed to be back, so you're gonna be able to like develop your MSF base. Oh, again. that that fucking micro. Uh, what do you what is that like macro game? What do what do you call that? Mm, uh, I don't know. Uh, fucking macro, guess, like, macro, micro, gameplay, whatever, whatever. Meta an fucking an game an within an a game. An machine game gameplay. Yeah, that type of mechanic is fucking awesome, and that's one thing I really think is going to be cool with uh, Bravely Default because you get that whole like uh, town population and like item building uh, yeah. uh, upgrading and, 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 and leveling up your little like village. That system is I think so cool to have in the background. You don't have to do it, but some of the funnest shit in Grounds or in uh, Peace Walker was all the building up my base and assigning which engineers are going to develop me new weapons and yeah and, and that's god man I, I i'm so stoked that's fucking back yeah all that stuff's back you have all the little side ops and it's it's an open world metal gear game it's a game yeah. where it's like you're able to go the about, main storyline's two hours but you can keep playing it's, forever 
it can be a linear story, but you can there it adds this level of like Kojima has like said it adds this layer of replay replayability because you can just do kind of what you want. Like you're able to go about like your own operations. That's why the tag like versus tactical espionage operations because you're able to kind of set up how you want to do this. Do you want to go in guns blazing and just like like land a helicopter in the middle of like a base and just just gun guys down or you I don't want to do that. Yeah, I want Laura to stop getting fucking shot too. I feel like I feel like this game has like, like when I was playing this game earlier you die so easily. Like there's so many easy ways for Laura to get shot in the face. Yeah. Her I don't like seeing her die too. It's gruesome. It's gruesome. I'm not into that. That last emo emo uh poser emo, that guy was into that kind of thing. I'm only in anime. Yeah. No victims there, man. Metal. It's a victimless crime. You know what I mean? Because it's just a drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's it's a drawing, so it doesn't harm anybody. Yeah, whatever you do in your sick and twisted <laughs> mind, they can't get you for because it's not. It doesn't. It's not real. It's it's fabrication. It's you think those thoughts all you want, boy? Don't let anybody tell you what to do. It's, it's non-existent. Do you have thoughts lately? Have you been having a lot of thoughts? About what in general? You mean like about you know anime butts? No, that's daily for me, brother. A daily thought, brother. You, brother, it's my day to day life. Oh, brother. Morning, afternoon, evening, anime. Morning, butts. afternoon, like, evening, night. Yeah, it's don't like, matter. It's like, it's like three meals a day, but three but anime butts a day. Three squares. That's oh, you're, three three damn. round butts. Not well, you're a man meals, of um. You 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 know you're you're consistent. Yeah, I am consistent. Yeah, you are consistent. Because I stick with Ray. Well, let's not name names here. Okay, well, look what I found. Oh, secret shit! It does look a little dark on that screen, doesn't it? This is a this is a very dark place. Oh, look! I can use the touch screen. Listen to this. Did you know you can use the little touchpad on the controller to to manipulate items now? Oh, you can do like little scrolly scrolls. Yeah. Let's see this. Oh, I see that shit. See what I do? Oh, I, I see use, that shit. You can know what you can use your tongue. Okay, that's that's um, you're ruining a brand new hardware console. In like I didn't ruin five, a thing, Cody. In, in like five years, when the PS4 is older, <laughs> you can look at the tongue marks and be like, "Why did I do that? Why didn't I take no, better care of no, my things?" No, no such thing, Cody. Thank uh -huh. you for your call, my boy. All right, you take it easy. Do you want me to drop a beat for you? Drop a big fat beat. Someone's here, y'all. <laughs>